Hello everybody! Recently I've been tackling a rather big project. So this is what you're used to seeing me, but what you're not used to is this. This mess is mine, and yes, I have a reason for it. This, this room used to not be like this. Over the course of years, I've lived here, went to China, came back and moved here, went off to college, came back, went to grad school, came back, went to Taiwan, came back, and eventually this home has turned into Hoarder Central. It's more of like a storage place for all the transitions I've ever dealt with. And, um, eh, it's gonna be pretty bad. Since I don't plan on moving anytime soon, again, I've been slowly trying to make this room into my YouTube studio. As you can see, in this nice, neat corner. But you know what? Sometimes I'm just tired of being backed up against the wall, so I'm turning this whole room upside down and inside out. And, uh, yeah, I should give you a room tour when it is complete. Probably um, not till next year, which isn't that long because that's only a week away. It probably won't be next week, just saying. But yeah, this is something that has accumulated over the course of years and years and years of moving and having just this one house. I'm really excited to get it in order and finally be in a room where it genuinely makes me happy to be in. But because this has accumulated over years and years and years of moving around and whatnot as i'm going through these things i'm discovering a lot of random stuff i found copious amount of keys that i don't know what they are for one of them better open a hidden treasure chest up in the attic i tell you what there's so many keys i found ancient artifacts i also found an insane amount of foreign currency and this remember these these kind of phased out pretty fast, but found this thing in this room as well. It didn't take me long to realize as I'm going through all this stuff that I'm going to come across a lot of forgotten treasures and funny memories. So here, I decided to make a video of it. One of my best friends from high school had gifted me a wallet and inside that wallet, I found this one Kwai from China and on the back she wrote a note on it. The note is also dated on March 27th, 2008. That's when I received this one dollar or one Kwai note from my best friend in high school and we're still friends today in case you guys are wondering. I also found this drawing from the same friend. I can't uncensor it because it's just a crude drawing but I wanted Kaylee to know I still have it. She's the best. Now this is gold. Growing up, I was the type of kid who kept a personal journal. I was a Zenga-er back in the Zenga days and would blog every day about my life and stuff like that. As Zenga kind of phased out later in my high school years, I started using my school's agenda as a personal diary. So when I came across this, I was kind of blown out of my mind because like I don't even remember decorating my agenda like this at all. It's just so funny that like when you're still in high school, you're just a completely different person. So according to my agenda, I was really into Hawthorne Heights, Death Cab for Cutie, Taking Back Sunday, Citizen Cope, Jack's Mannequin, The Academy Is, Fall Out Boy, All American Rejects, Rocket Summer, Rascal Flats, John Mayer, Panic at the Disco, and Tyler Hilton. <laughs> At the back of my agenda, I had put three of my celebrity crushes at the time. I'm going to give you a quick three seconds for you to guess which three male celebrities are on the back of my agenda. I have Ewan McGregor, Will Ferrell, and Jim Carrey. I was so weird. Not only did I decorate the cover of my school agenda, 
But I also drew a bunch of cartoons throughout every page. Like every page has a little cartoon. Oh my gosh, this one's so emo. It says, this is the last time we'd have to say goodbye and drive away with our memories. Heal a broken heart. Next, one million miles. How emo is that? Not only did I doodle a lot in my agenda, but I also pasted a bunch of comic strips in there as well. Like cyanide and happiness. Anybody remember those days? There's a lot of cyanide and happiness that I clicked and printed and pasted into my agenda. Like it's a lot of work. There's one on every page. Like I went all out. And here's like just like a random doodle page. Like I don't recall doing any of this. Oh my gosh. Here's Homestar. Does anybody remember Homestar? Oh, here's a good page. I made a note for myself in my agenda saying put more bands on my agenda. And here's a list of bands that I had meant to put on my agenda and never did. Ready for this? Saliva, Head Automatica, Jimmy Eat World, Not A Surf, Tegan and Sarah, Jamiroquai, Jack's Mannequin, oh, Jack's Mannequin is on here. Finch, Journey, Get Up Kids, Travis, Jones Addiction, and Weezer. It is just so surreal flipping through these pages because I have so many emo notes in here. Like, look at the, look, look at this one. June's birthday. Now I know why her name is June. Why would I write that on there? What kind of note is that? I guess it's because I know a bunch of April's not born in April, but goodness, I was just a quirky little girl, wasn't I? But yeah, this was pretty much like a journal scrapbook thing that I had in high school. And you know what makes this even better? I found my high school yearbook from the year of this agenda. There's your girl. I've always kind of convinced myself that I was a bit of a loser in high school, but would a loser have all of this? What? It's so funny sometimes to think of yourself like one way and maybe that's how you always remember it, but then you see things like this and you have no recollection and it's just like, wow, where did the time go by? Who is this person? <laughs> what? But yeah, what is New Year's without a little bit of self-reflection, you know? A lot has happened this year. I moved to Taiwan at the end of 2017, moved back this year. I restarted this YouTube channel February of this year. I've grown a lot, I've changed a lot, and I feel like that's all you can really do in a year. Change is inevitable, and the only way to deal with it is to embrace it and do the best you can with it. It goes without saying that I'm currently going through an awkward stage in my life, but when it comes to the new year, I'm optimistic. I'm getting married next year, which I know I haven't done a proper video for it, but Derek and I got engaged in October and I've been meeting to make an announcement video and it just never happened. But that's something you will get to see next year, you know, me planning my wedding. I hope to start a new career next year. I'm still looking, actively looking every day and that's all I can really do. And I'm staying optimistic. Whatever your new year's resolution is and whatever lessons you have learned this past year, hold on to it, treasure it, remember it, and be better from it. Anyway, that is it for me, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that like button. Click subscribe and follow me on all the social media. The information is somewhere on the screen right now. And I'll see you next year. Bye!